This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 6, verses 36 to 38. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. I tell you, love your enemies. How and give without expecting a return. You will never, I promise, regret it. Live out this God-created identity, the way our Father lives toward us. Generously and graciously. Even when we are at our worst, Our Father is kind. You be kind. Don't pick on people. Jump on their failures. Criticize their faults. Unless, of course, you want the same treatment. Don't condemn those who are down. That hardness can boomerang. Be easy on people. You will find life a lot easier. Give away your life. You will find life given back. But not merely given back. Given back with bonus and blessing. Giving, not getting, is the way. Generosity begets generosity. the gospel of the lord reflections on the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 6 verses 36 to 38 imagine god's mercy as a blank cash check with your name written on it and the account never runs out of cash the more god's mercy you share with others the more mercy will be shared with you it is up to you to decide how much you want to draw with the check pope francis says loving our enemies those who persecute us and make us suffer is difficult it is not even a good business or at least it is not the logic of the world however it is the path that jesus traveled to conquer the grace that makes us rich the cliche of glass half empty or glass half full directly applies to today's gospel for the one who regards the gospel as a new set of commandments it is all about rules and regulations be merciful stop judging stop condemning forgive and give There you see the glass half empty. Today people do not appreciate someone commands them to do things. But the gospel does not stop with regulations. On the other hand, it is a set of promises. These promises are as attractive as a blank cash check provided we accept the project of life that Jesus proposes. Here is what the blank check offers. You will not be judged, nor will you be condemned. You will be forgiven of your sins, and God will bless you with unlimited fortunes. How can we operate this account? The word of God says to start by forgiving others. Are there people who annoy you? Be merciful by practicing patience with them. Can I think of someone lonely or hurt? Can I spare some time to talk and be with them? Have you ever noticed your elderly neighbor for whom it is hard to come to the market to buy groceries? In this land The Lord reminds us of our responsibilities to be generous because we have a super generous father. How often do I share the workload with my parents 
spouse or siblings at home and be merciful by helping them? Mercy is a gift God gives us to share with others. Share it today and your reward will be great. Jesus, help me to be merciful today.